All right, now let's take a look at how we can run this example.rb file directly from our command prompt. So I'm going to head to my Windows Start menu right here and look for the command prompt uh, application. Rather, Here is a sample window right here. And it's going to launch us directly into a specific directory on our computer. We can see it written out right here. I'm in users slash kr. That's my user. Uh, yours obviously may be a little bit different. If you want to see as well what directory you're currently in, you can also simply type the letters cd. And that's going to show you the directory right here below. So we are in this directory. In order to see all of the directories and files that are in our current directory, we can type in dir. That's short for directory. And that's going to give us an output right here that represents all of the files and folders uh, in our current folder. This little dir symbol in the, in the middle with the less than sign and the greater sign tells us that it's a directory or folder. So here in my users folder, I can see that my desktop is located right here. Here it says desktop. And let's say I want to go into this folder. I know that's where my Ruby file is located. All I write is cd space and then the name of the folder that I want to go into. So I want to go into desktop. It is case sensitive, so you have to type it exactly as it is with the capital D. I want to execute this. You can see we've moved into users kr desktop. So I've moved into that folder. Now I can execute dir again. Again, that's going to show me all of the current uh, uh, folders and files that are in the current directory that I'm in. In this directory, I see my Ruby directory right here. That's the one where I have my example file. So that's what I want to navigate into. So what I can do here is once again type cd space. And when you start typing, for example, if I do something like r, what you can use here is something called tab completion. You can use your tab key and Windows will try to figure out what you're referring to. So in this case, when you look at my list of options here, the only thing that starts with r, a capital R, is Ruby. So at this point, Windows has enough to know what it is that I'm referring to. So if I press tab, it's going to automatically complete that for me right here. Makes it a lot easier, makes it a lot less prone to error. So once I have CD Ruby, I press enter, that navigates into that directory. Let's follow the exact same process by executing dir to see my list of files and folders. And right here I have my example.rb file. Here's the file that we have right here open in our Atom text editor, and we're ready to run it. All that we have to do to run it here is now to run or execute Ruby. That's the name of the program that we want to run the file. Space followed by the file name that we actually want to execute. So it's going to be example.rb. Again, if I simply wanted to use tab completion, I could type something simple like one letter or two letters, ex, tab. There it is completed for me. When I execute this, there is our output, hello world. This is the file's execution right here. This is the outputting of the string hello world. We can see the result here, hello world, in our command prompt is identical to our result right here in the Atom Runner, hello world. Exactly the same thing. This is obviously a little bit less pretty, but this is the old school way that programmers used to interact with the computer. So I did want to show you this option in case you have to use it. But you can see otherwise the command prompt and the atom runner are very functional and very similar in their design. Sometimes we'll have to stick with the command prompt. There's things that we can't do with their atom runner program, but most of the time we'll simply be executing it within the context of our atom text editor. That's really all there is to getting yourself set up on Windows. So we're all good to go. We're ready to link up with our friends from the Mac world. And in the next lesson, we'll be taking a look at interactive Ruby. Uh, that's a program, as I mentioned, that acts as a sandbox or a playground where you can practice sample Ruby code. Um, the way that you access it in the command prompt, the only place you can access it, by the way, is in the command prompt, is by simply typing IRB. So if you type IRB for interactive Ruby, that's going to launch you into IRB no matter where you are in the computer. Uh, at this point, you can simply type exit and enter to exit IRB and bring you back to the command prompt. But that's all you have to do to um, to uh, launch IRB. Keep in mind the Mac terminal. The Mac terminal is the equivalent to the Windows command prompt. It has a slightly different is uh, visual interface. It looks a little bit different, but once we launch IRB, the commands that we execute within it are strictly Ruby, so they're going to be 100% identical. So you do have to familiarize yourselves with things like navigation in Windows using the CD and DIR commands, 
Remember to practice this syntax right here of uh, writing Ruby and then space followed by the file name of the, the Ruby file that you want to run. You can practice by creating another .rb file in the same directory, putting a couple put statements in there, then once again saving it, going back to your command prompt, navigating to the directory and then running that file with Ruby space followed by the file name if you want. But that's basically all that there is now for setting it up on our Windows computer. We're all ready to start. So I'll see you in the next lesson.